Hi, Debbie Giaquindo, the Hudson Valley Wine Goddess, and I'm really excited. Finally, the book cover for my book, Tapping the Hudson Valley, is done, and I get to reveal it to you. It's right above you. Um, it was designed by Linda Puro at Flint Media, and I really want to thank her for that. Um, that picture you see that's in the book cover is a picture that I actually took at Glory Farm Winery. I walked up um, to the top of their vineyard, which is a hike, and if you do visit, I highly suggest that you walk up there. Your thighs might be uh, killing you the next day, but it's a view to die for, which you will find many views to die for throughout the Hudson Valley, whether you're hiking or visiting a winery or a distillery. Um, it's just a beautiful area, and my book is also now available for pre-order, so you can pre-order uh, Tapping the Hudson Valley. And I'm just really thrilled that I'm able to share with you the area that I call home. And it's really become such a craft beverage mecca. You've got wineries, you've got breweries, you've got distilleries, you've got cideries. And not only that, it's just so rich in history. Um, you've got Locust Grove, home to uh, Morris Code, you've got FDR's home, Vanderbilt Mansion, you've got Alana, there's Innisfree, which is a beautiful garden, so you've, got, you've got museums, you've got West Point. Um, it's just a beautiful area, and it, the Hudson Valley is quite a large area, so what I hope this book will do for you is you'll be able to plan your trip to decide what what area you want to visit, the wineries, the breweries, the distilleries, the cideries, and even take in a site or two along the way. There's also restaurant recommendations, there's farmer's markets to go to, there's places where you can stop to eat lunch, to pick up a picnic lunch. There are beautiful areas to picnic in, wineries, distilleries, uh, breweries, cideries, they all have areas to picnic in. and. Um, the book is broken down. It's into three three sections. There's your wineries, your breweries, and the sites along the way. And each section, um, although it might have a main focus, there are other stuff mixed in. Like in the winery section, it's not. It's about the focus is wineries, but there'll be breweries, distilleries, and cideries as well. And the same with the the brewery section. Is there's like you know, a ton, there's a lot of breweries in the region as well, and there'll be a winery, a distillery, um, a cidery thrown in, and the same thing goes for uh, the section on the sites. And each section itself is broken down into entry points because many of you will enter the Hudson Valley in different areas. If you're coming from the south, say Philadelphia, uh, New Jersey, even New York City, and you find yourself on the thruway heading north, you're going to enter through the Harriman Tolls. And from there, you have to make a decision. Do you go straight up eight, um, Interstate 84 and get off in Newburgh? Or do you hop on 17 and go to Warwick and, and the wineries out that way and the breweries and, and distilleries out that way um, in the Black Dirt region and head up towards Middletown. Um, if you hop on north on 84, you get off in Newburgh, and then you from there you can go to the wineries um, in that area and go up to Marlboro and go up to New Paltz, or you can even hop across um, the Beacon Newburgh Bridge and go to the distilleries and breweries in the Beacon area. Um, if you're coming from Connecticut, um, you can hop, or even New York City, if you're taking uh, the Taconic up, you know, take the Taconic, you can get off in Millbrook, uh, go to Industry Gardens, go to the wineries out there, and then even uh, go a little bit north up into Pine Plains and start uh, hitting the distilleries. There's a great distillery trail up there that is, um, covers Dutchess Distillery, Taconic Distillery, um, and, and you head north, and um, Hill Rock Distillery. And uh, if you're coming from the northern part of the area or even the east, like if you're coming from Massachusetts and you're on 90, or if you're coming from western New York or, or Saratoga and you, you come into the Albany region, you can you know, start in the Albany region and you can wineries, the breweries and the distilleries there and then start to head south. Um, there's just 
so, so much to see and to do in the Hudson Valley. And I've put together one day and three day itineraries and suggestions. You don't have to follow them. It's really based on, you know, what your, your needs are and what you want to do and what you want to see, what you want to taste. Um, so, um, each, each, um, distance from point to point is listed. So you'll know if it's going to take you 20 minutes to get from A to B. Um, so you'll be able to plan because the Hudson Valley, it's not like going somewhere and it's a driveway after a driveway. So there's a brewery after a brewery or a distillery after a distillery or winery after winery or winery distillery, whatever. Sometimes points, uh, distance between points can be 20 minutes. So you'll know. So if it's the end of the day, will you have time to make it to another, another stop? Um, you, you will have that information at your fingertips. And um, I'm really glad I'm able to share that with you. And I'm, and I'm um, really happy to say that the book is available for pre-sale. It's $9.95. When it does uh, launch, it will be $12.95. And it's $2.95 for shipping. And all pre-orders, I'm going to be giving away um, some sets of glasses um, for you to choose from. Uh, the Michelangelo set. And also um, tickets to the Hudson Valley Wine Festival. Um, so... You know, you'll be entered to win, to win in there. Um, I've got three sets of glasses and five sets of tickets uh, to give away, and um, I'm just, like I said, this this whole publishing thing, I it's it's finally, you know, coming to fruition with the book being uh, published and being out, and I'm just like so excited because I'm excited to share with you the area I grew up in, the area my kids grew up in, and the area that I call home. And it's a beautiful place, and I hope you find the beauty in it that I do. And I hope that you enjoy your travels throughout the Hudson Valley. And I would love to ha hear feedback, um, not only just on the book, but feel free to give me feedback on your visits and share with me pictures of your of your trips on my uh, Facebook page because I, I just, you know, want to see you enjoying uh, the area and the good times. And um, so I hope you... Uh, I hope you uh, get the book. The link below is where you can pre-order it. And uh, I just want to thank you very much. And I want to thank all the people that supported me in this endeavor and uh, helped me bring this book to fruition and to get it out there. And for all of you who are going to use the book and enjoy it and enjoy your trip and your visits to the Hudson Valley. Thank you.